More cases for the iPhone 11 Pro? Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and I have my iPhone 11 Pro, which you can tell by the three cameras on the back, and I have three more cases to look at. I can't seem to stop these cases showing up, so another video. We're gonna start with this. This is the Catalyst Impact Protection Case. And first off, props to them for the smallest packaging of any of the vendors. And it is the case, and it comes with, let me see if I can get this piece out. Let's see. There's a little lanyard in here too. So the idea is that you can actually have it hold on to your wrist. So you can hook, put this on the corner of the case, and then you have that. So now we're going to look at this case first this is like i said the impact protection case and this is one of the cases i'm looking at that meets the um, mill standard 810g which is get my phone in here at the same time which is a 9.9 .9 foot drop stop Siri is being very cheery now this is a really interesting case because it's very slim the back is clear and then what I really like is there's a dial to turn on and off mute. This is a really unusual feature that I've never seen in any other case. But more importantly, it does have, like I said, there's a little tiny hole here for the lanyard. And so there are three things I look at when I'm looking at a phone case. I look at the bezel, how much above the screen does it actually go. I look at the actual quality of the cutouts to see if it perfectly matches the holes. And I look at whether it does wireless charging. So let's start with the wireless charging. So this is my Pixel charger and it indeed is charging just fine. That's without it being perfectly against the back. So that's charging, that's good. Now, in terms of the bezel, well, there's a tiny bit, but not very much. But to be fair, I do have a screen protector on my phone. I like to see a little more bezel than I have here, but it is enough that if it drops, the impact is gonna be on the edges of the case, not on the actual glass of the phone. So that's pretty darn important. And then the third one is the cutouts. And you can see in this close-up, they did a really perfect job. This is really nice. Now, they sort of got away with us asking the question, is it perfectly centered on the mute button? Because they cover up the mute button with, like I said, this really cool dial feature. So, so far, I'm going to give this a lot of credit. This is the Catalyst Impact Protection Case. It comes in black or red and black or red and blue or clear. So I guess this is just the red and black because it has the black features. So nice case. Second case we're going to look at is another one from Urban Armor Gear. This is the UAG Civilian. And this is another really nice case. In fact, all three of these cases are really nice. It's gonna be hard to pick a winner of these three. So this particular one, as you can see, has, it's actually a triple layer. So it has a soft core and bumpers and a hard back. So it's somewhat flexible, but it also passes that 9.9 .9 foot mill standard 810g drop test it's certainly a little easier to put your phone in and in terms of the bezel it's a smidge more which is great so it has a nice amount of bezel so a lot of protection there a lot of protection on the corners um, they have an interesting design where there's just this sort of um, piece that comes out and that is the button that you would have on the right on the bottom, as you can see in this close-up, it's a nice cutout that works really well. Um, <laughs> sorry about the cat, <laughs> special guest star. Um, and in terms of the wireless charging, let's have a look. And well, there we go. So it is wirelessly charging. It was a little sensitive to positioning. That's how it goes. Um, but there's a lot I like about this, and I like the color scheme. You know, it's three different colors going on here because we have the orange on the top and the corners, I guess to highlight the bumper protection. And then we have black all the way around the edge. And then the very back is this sort of olive. So this comes in black, olive, and slate. And this one, I'm gonna get to all the prices at the end, but this one is more expensive than the Catalyst, but 
if we really want to talk expensive. The next case is certainly the most interesting of the three in terms of it being just pretty darn different. This is the Hex 4-in-1 case and it's actually basically like a Lego kit for your phone because there is a phone case there is a little wallet add-on for the back and then there's this main piece so you can see let's just start with the phone part itself it has a nice uh, microfiber interior and it's pretty rigid and there's batteries in here so my question is at what level will we be able to do wireless charging so let's find out first off there is no bezel at all. So if you're just going to use it like this, this is not a good case. If I drop my phone this way, it will be the screen that will take the impact. But I'm not going to count that off because the intention is to have it all be together. Now, just the phone. Let's see how it does with the wireless charging. Okay, that works. Now, let's do phase two, which is to put the phone in its little sort of portfolio and there's some pretty strong batteries going on here so now if i did this let's see will it charge through both layers the answer is yes okay now what if we put the third piece on and again you can hear that this is some strong magnet going on here and one of the cool things about these batteries is that this will also stick to anything metal including it'll attach to magnetic or magnetic mounts that you might have in your car now we got a lot of layers going on here will it still do wireless charging and the answer is no so by adding this third piece we now are getting in the way of the charging but i'll go ahead and put a couple of cards in here just so you can see what that looks like happen to have a couple so let's see there's one and uh, come on, you can go in. Since it's brand new, it's a little bit tight. So here's a couple of cards put in it, and obviously that's going to also get in the way of charging. So we'll just look at it this way, and with it like this, you can pop this off, and then it will charge perfectly well. And then so this is also magnetic. This is magnetic. It's, it's a lot of magnets. In fact, they use what they call N45H magnets. I have no idea what that means, but they are certainly powerful. And in terms of the cutouts and stuff, well, you know, they've done something interesting here on the phone case itself because they've actually moved the speaker cutouts to the front. So instead of it being straight out, it's actually redirecting them forward probably a pretty smart idea and then the charging hole itself is nice and big as you can see so they've done a nice job everything is in the right place like I said no bezel but the case itself is such an interesting design and since it is so strongly magnetic you never really have to worry about it being misaligned so that you go to take a photo and that there's like a bar across the bottom or something totally not an issue so I don't know that I would be using this piece so much because when you have this, you do get this pocket. So you could put in maybe a driver's license and a couple of 20s or something for your evening out. Um, if your evening out includes you using camo finish leather, well, props to you, that's cool. But the case itself is actually thermoplastic urethane, which is TPU. Um, so it is a polycarbonate so the corners are nice and strong and when you have it in like this obviously you don't have to worry about the bezel because you have the whole screen covered so this feels pretty solid i feel like if my phone drops i got a lot of protection going on here and the fact that you know it's also able to wirelessly charge like this that's pretty nice so there's a lot to like about this oh and one more thing this is RFID blocking, so that's also really good. So if you have cards that are RFID cards and you're toting it around like this, you're also protecting yourself from malicious scanners, which are bad. So let's see. This comes in all black or this camouflage finish, which I actually really like. So let's talk about prices. But before I get to price, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel and give me some feedback. Let me know, are these the three things you look at when you want to you know, learn more about a case? So I'm looking at the fit and finish, how well the holes are cut out. I'm looking at the bezel, how much the edge raises above the screen, and I'm looking at whether it supports wireless charging. So those are my three criteria. And I have to say, I'm going to pick one as a winner, but let's just quickly run down. So this is the Catalyst. 
Um, no, sorry. <laughs> this is the Catalyst Impact Protection Case, and it is $39.99 at catalystcase.com. There's a lot I like about this. It's a very modest case. It's very low key, and depending on what color you choose, it could be something that's almost invisible. This is, whoa, the <laughs> Urban Armor Gear. See how tough it is? This is the Urban Armor Gear Civilian, and it, it comes in three colors, perfect for Halloween with orange and black. And then there's the green on the back, and this one will set you back $49.95 at urbanarmorgear.com. Also like this one a lot, you know, um, it's a little bit more of a standard case because it doesn't have that really cool little dial for your mute, whatever. And then in terms of sheer <laughs> flexibility and options, then there's a lot to like about this Hex 4-in-1 case. And this one is $99.95 at hexbrand.com. So it's pretty spendy, 100 bucks for a case, but this is really a case and a wallet. And their use of really powerful magnets, especially if you have some sort of magnetic mount in your car, make this a real win. There's a lot I like about this case. But if I have to choose a winner, I think I'm gonna go with the Catalyst case. And the thing I really like about it is I really just am fascinated by this mute dial. So props to them. All three of these cases are actually really good choices. There are some of them are a little spendy. 99 bucks for a case might be a little out of your budget, but you know, it's worth checking out all your options. And with that, I think I'm going to let this thing continue charging, which means I'll catch you in my next video.